good evening it's actually I was gonna say it's Monday it's not it's Tuesday um, and it's super exciting because we are opening our new monthly make box so it's August monthly make box unboxing reveal that's the one yeah, I'll get my words together at some point I've just moved everything out in the way there so just bear with one second right so we are we're gonna open August box and see what's inside um, and then just do some lovely crafting so hopefully there we go right I think everything's up and running so evening Rachel uh, hi Sue so yeah that's it so hopefully everyone who subscribed to August monthly make has got their box and um, well should we have all what's inside it we will yeah Right, I still haven't changed my mat, so we're, we're still working on a pink mat. Cause, well, I forgot about it. I do, I do th silly things like that. Anyway, right, so we've got our lovely box. Can't really see it. There we go, a little bit better. I thought tonight I'd have loads and loads of time between dancing and um, now, and I didn't because we got stuck in traffic but that's another story so monthly mate box this is actually a um, proper box not one of my boxes if that makes sense just to me so I hope you're all having a lovely evening um, I'm just going to turn that bit over <laughs> so inside this month's box Maybe that tissue paper out the way. It's very crinkly, our new tissue paper. Um, inside this month's box, you get your inspiration, as always, your little leaflet. You get, let's do this this way around, shall we? You get your lovely light bulb, your floral bulb, and you get two sayings. And of course, you get your discount card as well. So, you get your floral bulb, one of our lovely borders, I think I might have said gave this one away a bit um, it is one of my favorite favorite uh, well a, co a combination of my favorite stamp sets oh evening Pauline I know we're on a Tuesday yeah it's all kerfuffled this week it was Bear's birthday so I couldn't really not have cake and everything with him yesterday so we've just moved to Tuesday this week so wonderful box we've got like like I uh, said before we've got two of my favorite stamps we've got the bulb in there and we've got the lovely Stella um, into a border and then you've got two sayings with this which is you're never too old to chase your dreams and looking on the bright side is a choice you'll never regret so again we'll be sharing the inspiration on YouTube over the next few weeks see let's have a look at the big one first because I think this is the, the main part of this monthly make isn't it so it doesn't look that big on there however it is you can see it's as big as me and it is a good size stamp yep great for coloring great for actually um cutting it into as well lovely one you've got all your textures in there it's kind of a pretty dumb one for you isn't it and then you've got your lovely little sayings well they're not little you can see again good size on your sayings there's your other one looking on the bright side is a choice you'll never regret so two sayings your stamp your discount code and your leaflet yeah so that is what is in this month's box so should we have a look at some samples so we think they bring it to life a little bit more i'm just looking for places to put stuff down as always i'm running out of space so let's start off with mum shall we Oops. And again, as always, I've not looked at these yet. I'm just grabbing them straight out of the box, uh, the bag that she gave me in. So first up, we've got this one. She popped it. It's gonna bug me that, let me just, oik, 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 oik. It's not gonna stay, is it? No. Why would it do what I wanted it to do? Right, ish. So you can see, lovely DL, I'll have to move it around. 
Um, so looking on the bright side, so she split that saying using a bit of masking. Then at the bottom you've got, it's a choice you'll never regret. And then she's just, she's done the background and then she's actually cut out the whole bulb so you don't get any of the texture behind it. So it looks completely different, doesn't it? Let me just grab one of her other ones. There. So you can see on that one, she's left all the texture in it. What's that one? So that one. Looks completely different, doesn't it? Cool. Right, so DL, some lovely shades on there. Yeah, I'm running out of space again on my desk. <laughs> I'll show you this one next. So again, she's put a bulb on. Um, and then you've got, again, you're never too old to chase your dreams. And she's just used, I don't know if you can quite see in the background there. It looks like she has inked up her stamp and spritzed it to create that lovely watercolour effect around that sentiment. Yep, so there's that one. And then this one looks almost floral. Uh, almost Christmas, look at that. Imagine if you coloured these in red, it'd be a lovely poinsettia, wouldn't it? For Christmas. Hmm. So all she's done is stamp the end of the border, um, coloured her in, and then just popped a sentiment in the middle. So she just used part of the stamp on that one. Really cool. Next up. Again, oh, upside down. Um, again she's been into her, her cutting out so you've got the lovely textures behind here and then she's cut into it to be fair I don't think I thought of doing that but it's a nice little idea and then you've got you're never too old to chase your dreams there's that one and then finally I definitely wouldn't have thought of doing this because it's a lot of cutting out but look she used those lovely flowers to make a, like a floral arrangement you could almost do a circle couldn't you with them um, and then just used again those in the corner a little bit of a texture in the corner well, looks really cool doesn't it yeah Ooh. i thought that was a wasp then i was gonna you'd have heard me run out so those are mums and then let me grab mine from down here oops I need to move my box it was in my way So you'll have seen these ones because they are in your little booklet and you'll be getting some YouTubes on them over the next few weeks. So let's start with this one. This one was a whoops a daisy because the first attempt didn't work. So then I cut it up. So can you see that top one is all coloured because it didn't look right stamped on the colours. Don't know what it was, it didn't look right. Um, so then I stamped it again on a piece of white card and then just chopped little bits out of it. But I think it actually looks quite well, quite impressive, doesn't it? That really simple. Um, just a distress oxide background, and then we just cut into it. Really simple then. Yep. So there's that one. And then it's a bit big that one. <laughs> Got nowhere to put him. Little five b five b seven. So you can see again I just used patches of my light bulb. Really interesting. I've stamped mine all coming down. Mum stamped hers going up. I guess whichever way you fancy, isn't it? Um, so I've got one hanging and one just there. And then again, I've just got that sentiment in the middle that I might need to restick down actually. <laughs> but you can see, just uh, I think that's distress oxide. Probably is. Um, just colour it in, and then that's it. Again, really simple. Right. There's another. So, Distress Oxide background, a bit of a splodgy background. Stamped into it using the bulb stamp first to get this little bit of faux bleaching. Yeah. And then just started to colour in on the chain and, and things like that. And then just use the word dreams off one of the sentiments. Yep. There's that one. Next up, I think I went a bit over the top cutting this one out. I was trying to see how many layers of decoupage, so if I do it that way first. Look at that! What's that one? Two, three, four, five, six, seven layers. I think I went over the top on that one. But 
it does look pretty impressive doesn't it so again coloured them in I think that might be brush show on that one I've put a bit of glaze on my bulb to make it stand out and then just started to colour in and do bits of shading uh, shading words don't want to work for that um, so there you go but again really simple and then just started cutting into it with those layers there's that one then I had a bit of fun I found some grey board so I had a bit of a play and came up with this one so I've just cut it out coloured it in a little bit done quite a um, grungy background there and then popped my bulb on the top and then chase your dreams down the side so just use part of that which are never too old there so just used a few of the words from that one yep you're never too old to chase your dreams there we go and then finally i've got some really splodgy backgrounds on these ones there you go again another distress oxide uh, a distress oxide background with the resisting with the water um, and then just stamped and coloured that's actually pencil crayon i think i think it's pencil crayon yep and then you just got that sentiment but because i've not got any colour on that sentiment it really does jump out doesn't it cool so there's your samples i hope you've liked this one as much as i have because like i say it's a combination of my two favorite stamps our Stella and um, Bulb. Yeah. There's that one. And then we've got Sue's. If I put them all together now, I won't lose them more. <laughs> there we go. Hi, Tracy. So you can just see. See, Mum has stamped all hers up, hasn't she? And I stamped all mine down. I guess there isn't a right or wrong. There you go. So that's all our samples and just to recap, let me put them away and uh, let me put them back in their bag otherwise I'll put them on the shelf and the shelf never gets sorted. Them there. Just to recap then, in this month's make you get your leaflet, your discount code, your lovely floral bulb and then your two sentiments to go with it as well. There you go. So, should we get crafting? So, let me see if I have. I have got. Oh, what is it going to bug me tonight? Because my camera keeps dropping. I don't know why. I'll push it all the way up, and then let's see if I'm going to blame it on the heat. <laughs> There we go. Well, you'll see enough of it there, won't you? So I have got my stamps. You can see I put them away really well. I know, I need to sort them out. So what I thought we would do is have a bit of the bulb. And then I like what Mum did with hers. They're looking on the bright side and splitting it up. So I think I'm actually going to copy that bit of Mum's. And... I'm going to stamp this one so I'm actually going to start off by stamping the big bulb you never know if it's got any ink left on it or not do you so first up I need a poly mount so bear with why I just pull this one off so what's everyone been up to what's everyone been doing whoops I think what we've done. We've been dancing tonight, so that's always an interesting evening. Especially at the moment when it's hot, you go and sit in the car for about an hour and there's no shade. <laughs> Actually, just sit in the car. I keep saying that I will take one of the camping chairs so I can actually sit in the car park. So I'd probably look a bit odd doing that, wouldn't I? <laughs> But it's just not enough time to get there, drop her off and come back home and it'd be worthwhile. So I normally stick labels on packaging and things while I'm there. Right, 
So I'm popping it on. Again, big stamp. So you know the score. Roll it on. Make sure you've got no bubbles. Make sure it stamps for you. I'm going to stamp on that side because it's got a dirty mark on that one. Rude. Let's get it inked up, shall I? Oh, Pauline's making a wedding card. Oh. Congratulations to your goddaughter. Make sure, again, it's a big stamp, so just make sure you put down lots and lots of ink. It's one of them into that you don't want to. You're going to do everything you can to not have any problems. So make sure your stamp's nice and flat, make sure you've inked it up well. And then, when we flip it over, I am, I'm going to splat this right in the centre. I'm trying to make sure that my bulb, my, my chain and my filament look like they're in the right place. Look like they're pointing down, if that makes sense. I'm giving it a good rub. I don't even know what's squeaking on my desk, it's not my hands. I'm just give it a real good press. I am, I'm not pressing very hard tonight because my hands are but you can see really. good press and I think I picked up the wrong ink you know the less juicy one but anyway it'll do so you can tell not much ink on there so I'm just going to blast that with my heat gun because Ooh. I'm blasting it on heat gun because we used the um, first fan flare, a very non juicy first fan flare, I might add. That's okay, it'll work with what we want it to do. Hit the back of it as well just to make sure my card's nice and straight. Can use some brush here because I can't. You, it, yeah, it's a, it's a brush show kind of day, isn't it? So, splat a load of colour on and see where we go from there. So, I want big, bold, and bright. Let me just move that out of the way so I can see my colours. So, I'm going to go for pink, Alzarian crimson, and let me move them out of the way. Pink and violet, or pink and turquoise is the question. I can see purple, I can't see turquoise. Ooh, and another Aldarian crimson. Oh, I've got violet. Violet as well, isn't it? Should we do violet? Saves me having a bit of a scooch round. Yeah, we're going to do a bit of violet, I think. Yep, yeah, I'll go with violet. So, mm, just trying to move that out of the way. <laughs> From where I decided to glue everything to me board the other day. And then we just need a paintbrush. I might not be doing brush over, can't find my paintbrush. You can always tell it's school holiday because I have little visitors that come and um, craft and they say, no, I've not moved anything. Mm, you have. I know you have. Or you come in and your desk is a completely different colour. Bear had a lot of fun yesterday, Tracy, thank you. He um very spoiled, as always, and he just... He had birthday cake and he had fun. And that's all that matters. Lots and lots of fun and lots and lots of birthday cake. He did say he wanted a barbecue but then he kind of um, 
he asked everyone to come around for a barbecue because he was going to do it and then decided that he didn't want to do it at the like last minute so we all kind of took turns doing the barbecue that he decided he wanted so typical bear to changing his mind so you can see I am going in with I love doing these I think they're very very relaxing so I put loads of colour down Oops, I didn't want to get my picture, but that's okay. So all I'm doing is just dragging this ink out. I don't want to get my circles, you'll see why. You'll see why. There's message in my madness, I promise. Not always, but sometimes. Yeah, occasionally there's message in my madness. <laughs> so again I'm just going to come in with my colours so it's one of them where I want the background to have colour not exactly the image if that makes sense so I've got my pink my Alzarian crimson You can see I've hardly activated any um, brush out. It's more water than. Just slowly adding a bit. So I'm not doing the whole thing because I want to add a bit of that violet in. So I'm kind of leaving gaps every now and again. So. And a bit of my colour and then we'll mix it all up together in a minute and again just remember if you want to make it paler just add a little bit more water and drag it out a bit more yep and then and then we're going to do a bit more pink here putting the splodge in again always in odd numbers aren't I threes I like threes threes work well the bulb just like that oops there we go twizz it round evening Susie just like that obviously if you were doing this you would make sure you had all that nice juicy ink pad not one that looks like it was going to be juicy it had the old like you know lid was stuck I knew it wasn't the juicy one. You know, as soon as I started to press it down, I was like, nah, I don't think that's my juicy one. Keep meaning to. Right, that's my pink. I'm happy with my pink. I know, pink for me. Oof. I'll blame it on the heat. It's meant to be getting hot again, isn't it, this week? don't mind this week being hot next week not so much and definitely not the week after well that sounds really bad I do want it to be hot but not too hot if that makes sense hot so you can function but not too hot where you just want to sit in the fridge or freezer so this is my violet I'm doing exactly the same again can you see that yeah you can Just, you can see teeny tiny little bit of brush out into it and then we're just going to start pulling that colour exactly like we did before oh this could look quite interesting this colour combo
you know sometimes I don't actually know whether my colour combos are going to work but I'm glad I now didn't find turquoise it was a happy accident wasn't it I'm just adding a little bit more in here like that pull it into here because it's nice where it merges isn't it just like that and then I'm going to well what should be clear water but we know it won't be because my paintbrush is a bit dirty there we go Ooh. There we go. Now we're going to come and do this bit here. So, oh. There we go. Always turning my paper so it's easier for me. The more comfortable you are, the more it'll work. Oh, putting up there. Rude. As you can see, I'm hardly putting any colour on. It's more about like setting where I want my water to go. It's almost like my dirty brush, isn't it? I'm doing this bit. Let's right? pick up a teeny tiny bit. I do like it where it starts to merge, though. just be a new colour combo this one so if I wanted to if I went on there oh look at that <gasps> way too much oh no I've coloured in my bubbles as well didn't mean to do that really didn't mean to do that never mind we'll we'll recover in a minute so can you see all I've done is added more water to it and I'm just dragging it out oh really didn't mean to do that, I didn't want it in my bubbles. No, it's okay. We'll, we'll do something. There we go. <laughs> you can tell I'm angry with myself. Shouldn't have done that. Start to pull in here. Got too much. Got too much colour there, so I'm going to do another blob of water try and get more brush out my pen uh, out my paint brush even just pull it out more. so now I've got a decision to make I can either try and take the colour out of those ball, uh, bubbles or I need to colour these top ones in Okay, but I wasn't thinking I was going to carry on colouring in. Silly me. Oops, too much. I'm just going to drag it out a bit more. I'm not concentrating on what I'm doing, I'm thinking about how I'm going to clear up my mess. Oh no. Silly, silly, silly girl. It's okay. Right. So you can see I've just gone over a bit there. We're going to take that bit out for starters. And then. Hmm, decision time. I am liking it. Don't get me wrong. I am liking it. I'm just annoyed with myself that I've coloured in my bubbles. We'll, f we'll, we'll figure that bit out in a minute. So. I can't use brush and have all this left on the top without doing a little bit of splattering, can I? The pink near me pink. And I know it's gone into me, me flower, but that's okay. There we go. Get rid of my pink. And then we want a bit of purple. Violet. That's the one. Violet. Evening, Maxine. Just like that, I think. Yeah. 
if in doubt give it a splatter right so I need to clean up my brush because I actually want I need a clean brush for this because we are going to try and remove some of that paint from that brush out This is why I don't use pink very often because I get it everywhere. <laughs> there we go. Let's just get rid of this down here. It's still has yellow on it from something. Don't know what I've done in yellow. Obviously something though. Well, it may not be me. Right, so let's get to work with our little bubbles that shouldn't be this colour. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a piece of kitchen roll. You just need to be a little bit careful when doing this because you don't want to oversaturate your card. to plan B. I'm not sure what plan B is but we'll, we'll find out. It's moving a bit. Not moving as much as I'd like. See, see I'm taking a bit of the colour away but it's not taking as much as I'd like it to. We will have a plan B. Right. No, it's not lifting as much as I'd like it to. So, plan B. Let's take that big blob of water off my desk before I do do some damage with that. So for this, I do want some. So of course, bear with it. It's not on my desk it's in there and I want some pearl. There we go. So I've got my pearl sprinklet and I've got my turquoise. So we're gonna have a bit of a shiny. I don't need much. I don't need much. Woo. It's going everywhere but where I wanted it. actually going to start with this one up here. Oh, excuse me. Oh, way too much on it, really subtle. So you can see where I was kind of going, can't you? I'm just putting a little bit of that pearl in with it as well now. Oops, I've got Angelina fibres in there too. Actually, I bet this one would look nice in Angelina fibre, wouldn't it? So, I'm just going to start adding a bit of colour just like we did before. I don't know if you'll be able to see the sparkle in the Angelina fibres. Oh, and the sprinkler, duh. <laughs> I'll get there in the end. So we've got sparkly, sparkly, sparkly. Sparkly, sparkly. Turquoise now. And it has, it's got a nice little sparkle to it. And a little bit more. You can see I'm just adding my colour really, really slowly, really carefully. Okay. A bit more and then we'll 
almost down on the bottom but so it would stick out as much as this bit if I hadn't have um, <coughs> you know oh grumbly tumbly time it is it's usual time though isn't it it always starts grumbling on oh Tuesday at this time. I keep forgetting it's Tuesday, not Monday. I blame it on school holiday. I've got no sense of times or days or it all just merge into one. And then I'll get like little lady like tonight. She went, I'm gonna go dancing tonight. Like, oh yes, let's get on the road. There we go. Oh, come here, don't they? To be fair, I probably like that one with a bit of um, violet behind it. There you, go. you knew I was going to say that in the end, didn't you? Right, so I'm going to stop faffing now with the paint because we're, we're done. We're done with paint, aren't we? Before I make any more mistakes with it. Just get that out of my brush. Now just remember, if you are painting with your um, sprinklets, you really need to give your brushes a good wash um, because the mica or the glitter will just sit, sit in them a little bit longer so it needs a real good wash it, this won't wash it enough because next time I come to paint with it it'll be all sparkly if I don't wash it properly so it needs a nice pot and a nice Clean. Right, let's get this dry and then we'll finish it off, shall we? And hopefully, you'll start to see a bit of a sparkle on our um, Judy Boppers. And don't worry about these bits where we've gone over the image because we'll sort that in a minute. We will. It's fair, it's dried really quick tonight. shabby now I am looking for I've got one charcoal pencil that will do if it has to but I'm looking for another one that's a little bit more pointy okay maybe it's not a bit more pointy it is right so all we're going to do is where do, where do we start should we start with the flowers I think so so same concept as painting we check how I've always got scrap paper on my desk and today I can't find any for the life of me let's see oh that was a big stretch that's not scrap oh it'll do see so it looks like it would be blunt as anything but it's not really quite Get rid of a bit of it. There we go, that's better. And then we're just going to start to add stuff that it could have you wanted to do, lint it, couldn't you? A bit of um handling and things like that. Bit more in 
there. See, this is where you could lose me now. I could dip it here for ages. So I think it's one of those images that you, you could, if you wanted to, spend absolutely ages colouring in. Or you could just do. I'm not liking that pencil. Because actually, my hands, I'm not liking it, to be brutally honest. I'll go back to that one. To flatten out my card a bit more. And again. See, just by adding a little bit of, I know it sounds daft, a little bit of colour to it. Yeah, it's really starting to jump out, isn't it? Just a little bit of shading. Could be really fancy if I'd have got like lots and lots of different. Um, Watch my cards. Mm -hmm. Different types of pencils as well you could use. So sorry, I can't colour in. I'm not really colouring, I'm just adding little bits to it. But just be careful when you start building it up because it will come away on your fingers. Yeah, I've been there, done that a few times. <laughs> next thing you know you've got a big inky hand it's not even a pinky mark it's like a whole hand you know from the side yeah like fist mark on your card no do that quite often to be fair there we go it's not taking as long as i'm making it out and just pop the cover on our yeah. You know when I said before, oh, let's not worry about the chain. Because I knew I'd be going back over it in a minute. Look. Yeah. And then what else do I want to do? Just. Let's just come down. I do love the light bulb. It's really gently. I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do tonight. I knew I wanted to put the colour behind. Mm, 
Okay. Yeah. And then we've got our circles. So our little bubbles or whatever we're calling them from before that I've decided to mess up on. Just add a little bit to them. And of course they've got dots haven't they? So guess what they need? A bit more on these two. I do hope those of you have got this set. I've had some fun playing with it. Though it is, it's tough into over the summer. I know, you know, you want to be outside in this weather, don't you? too bad is it and then let's grab our gel pen because well we've got dots so gel pens are a must aren't they when we've got dots because it wanted to work and that'd be a start <laughs> so i add a little bit glass of water on my desk it's what I keep um, clanging on could have wanted to go back in um, and also where I've not quite stamped I'm starting to obsess now about it all don't need to there we go add those bits back in because I could really see there it's not quite right but I think that's not too bad yeah so for two colors of brush well three colors of brush because i put my turquoise on there in the end a bit of pearl i don't know if you can quite see me pearl can you see me spark on my pearl it is there oh can you see it there oh see there look just here just there it's got the right sparkle to it not that you can see it properly right so finishing it off we wanted well i wanted that one right side so, mum used this one. I'm not sure if she actually cut hers in half. She's not on tonight to ask. Um, so, you can see it just fits perfectly. I've used an A5 card here that hasn't been cut down, I don't think. Not sure. Um, so, what I'm actually going to do is just bring it in a little bit closer than I normally would so that I can cut it down and mount and mat and layer it up and all that. All that good stuff. So,. post-it notes because I like my post-it notes there they are oh. so looking on the bright side will it let me do it no rude what you can do if you wanted to do it properly is stamp it onto your where you know you want to split it stamp it on and then you can cut so it's beautiful and crisp yep i'm not that all i'm going to do is chop my post-it note in half yep we're going to stick that bit to that bit so i know i've got that bit covered and then we're going to step it up from that bit to that bit there we go then when we ink him up in a second 
not with that ink because that was the one that <clears throat> yeah that's my older ink shall we say out the two ink him up oops I'm going everywhere rude just like that take that off I've got it all over my stamp block as well so let's just rescue my stamp block and then we're going to pop this somewhere like here, I think. I'm hoping that's kind of straight. Yep. So looking on the bright side, it is being eaten by my background at the moment, so we will sort that out momentarily. That was a big word, wasn't it? I'm going to do it the opposite way around. <coughs> oh! Excuse me. But this time I'm going to ink up the whole thing then mask off the bit I don't want to stamp. All different ways of doing it. It just saves me washing my stamp, that's all. So, the bit I want now is is a choice you'll never regret. Pop that on there. We're going to pop our post-it notes over the bit that we don't want, so I'm going to get rid of you. That sounded really like, we're going to take it out. Oh, we're just going to pop a post-it note over it, make sure your inky pinkies don't come on it. There's all different ways to mask off, this isn't all different ways whatever works for you we're going to pop that right down there just like that and you'll see I've tried to stay in from the edges so that we can mat and layer this if we want in a, in a puppet oops sorry if you heard my finger crack then there we go it's a choice you'll never regret but at the moment I am regretting it because well, it's kind of disappeared, hasn't it? It won't for long. You know what we're going to do. We're going to grab our white gel pen. And we're just going to come in and rescue it. So all we're doing is we're just putting a little white edge to it. And we'll go from it. Not really standing out much. It's only that bit, isn't it? Really? Oops, I've just taken the F away completely. So can you see? Side has now popped back out. And we're going to come down here, and we'll just have a quick look. So let's have a bit of a choice, because choice might. Just gonna come back in here. It's one of them. How much do you do? You could do it all if you wanted to, you don't, you know, you are just, there we go, let's pop a little bit there. There we go, and we've made choice stand out as well. So, there you have it. Kind of, there we go, it just fits. <laughs> Our first make using this month's multi make now I have got a load of brush out on my finger so we'll do a quick recap shall we okay, I think I've turned my finger pink but that's okay <laughs> so that's our make from tonight we've used a little bit of brush out bit of sprinkler as well in there and basically a cheap charcoal pencil and then popped a sentiment on there as well really easy but I think it looks quite effective yep so let's should we have a quick look at those samples again oops hang on just decided to go for a bit of a, a run so we'll put it on mini oh i did it fell on the floor instead um so there you go see mum does hers the other way she's standing up so there's that where i got that idea from looking on the bright side is a choice you'll never regret 
lovely one from Mum there, taking away all the texture from background. And you've got another A5 from Mum. I love how she just created that panel with that one in. Yeah. And then this one, I think that could be a Christmas card. Paint these, uh, colour these in red for poinsettias. Um, I really do think that would make a lovely, lovely Christmas card. I might have to have a bit of a play with that idea. And then we've got this one. It's a stamping part to create your background. Um, again, taking away that texture so it really does just jump out at you, doesn't it? And that lovely saying again, you're never too old to chase your dreams. And then this one, again, you should just cut the flowers off. And then stamp the other one in the background. But I think you could probably get a nice little circle going on that. I do love the watercolour, the like water effects on the back of that one. Then this one, really simple, just coloured in with oxides, a bit of floof, never goes amiss does it, we like our floof, um, and then our sentiment stuck on top, simple, easy, does look quite effective, um, a splodgy background, yeah, a bit of water resist in there as well, um, and then actually, if you notice, I have just started to colour them in using the charcoal pencil as well. Yeah. And this one, it's where I went to Decoupage Town. I think it was seven we counted, was it? Um, and there you go. That's got brush. That's definitely brush out. And I think put a bit of glossy accents on your bulb. Then this one was my scrap. Was, to be fair it was my disaster that then got turned into not so much of a disaster so a really big 8 by 8 there you can see big focal image your nice texture your nice sentiment stamps on there as well um, and then just little cut up little strips of colour little spots of colour love that idea might have a play with that as well this month um, then we've got another distress oxides I've really gone to town with oxides on with these haven't I showing you don't have to stamp the whole thing you just part, uh, stamp parts of it a bit of water resistant background there you go really is that simple and then finally just a little bit of um, grey board with um, a bit of a grungy again oxide really have gone to town on that one um, and that's it for your samples let me put them back in my envelope before I lose them and then let me go into here so in your box if you subscribed you have got your leaflet yeah your leaflet all the ones I've done you should see in there and there will be YouTube on them so you can see there's that lovely little grey board one there's your big stamp it's huge it really is a huge one yeah and then your two little sentiments and of course your discount card as well and there's tonight. I've got to admit, those colour com that colour combo I've actually quite like quite like it now. So that is it from me tonight. There we go. I pressed the right button. Yay! Um oh thank you Tracy. Um absolutely get your stamps, get them out. It is a really nice I've got to admit when I first designed it I thought it's a little bit big. Not gonna work, but actually it does. Mm. I've had a lot of fun using um, this stamp set this month, well last month, well actually the month before. Anyway, I've had fun playing with this stamp set. Yep. Um, so back to normal next week. We will be live on Monday at 7 playing with the stamp set again. Um, I've had lots and lots of questions about the fun alphabet. Yes, yes, yes. It, it is available. Well, it will be available tomorrow. So, shh. It is. And the lollipops. I didn't say that. Um, so yeah, they'll be available tomorrow as well. So, thank you for joining me tonight. I hope, oh, thank you, oh, thank you, Susie. Um, thank you for joining me tonight. Hope you've enjoyed that. I hope you're enjoying your month, mate, because it is a great little box. Um, oh, thanks, Rachel. Um, it is a great box this month. I really do enjoy it. Um, I've got to admit, two of my favourites on there shouldn't say that but they are two of my favourites um yeah 
lots and lots of fun with this month's box i hope um don't forget if you um are making using craft Jury stamps products stamps poly plates you know all that goings don't forget to share in the group and um, for the chance to be picked as our weekly winner oh thank you thank you debbie um so yeah that's it for me tonight thank you for joining me back next monday at seven back to usual monthly mate monday because do not on a tuesday Oof. yeah that taking me a whole day to get my mind around that one um, so yeah, we will see you next monday at seven right here thanks for watching bye for now <laughs>